The game we are playing is called Frack and Field. The game is played in three events. Players organize into teams of three. Each team completes one event at a time. The goal of the game is to use fractions on the number line to showcase how far a person jumped or threw the discus as compared to a record for the event. For this game, you will need string, painter's tape, a meter or yardstick, jar lid or something to throw, and a leaderboard sheet. For the long jump, use string to create a number line measuring 16 feet. Mark off every two feet along the string with tape. Then clearly mark the starting line in a runway. For the discus throw, use string to create a number line measuring 32 feet. Mark off every four feet along the string with tape. Then clearly mark the throwing line. For the triple jump, use string to create a number line measuring 22 feet. Mark off every two feet of string with tape. Clearly mark a starting line and a runway. In each team, there is an athlete, a measure, and a recorder. Each team member serves a single role for an event. Team members rotate through these positions. By the end of the third event, each team member will have served in all three roles. Each team scores points by accurately representing fractions. The team with the highest score wins. In the long jump event, the athlete takes a running start and jumps as far as possible beginning at the starting line. The measure watches the athlete closely and finds and marks where the back of the athlete's heel landed, then measures the distance from the starting line to this mark. The recorder works with the measure to assign that place a fraction. The recorder writes this fraction on the leaderboard. If the team correctly identifies the fraction on the number line, the team earns a point. In the discus throw event, the athlete stands at the starting line and throws a small lid, the discus, as far as possible. The measure watches closely and uses the knots on the court to measure the distance from the starting line to the place the discus first hit the ground. The recorder works with the measure to determine the fraction of the full length of the court associated with the distance the discus flew. Score is in the long jump. In the triple jump event, follow the same process as for the long jump, except the athlete jumps three times in session, landing one foot at a time. The measure measures from the starting line to the back of the athlete's heel, the third time the athlete's heel lands. Here are some questions to think about while playing or after play. Pause the video and read these questions. Here are some ways to modify the game when necessary. An important variation may be to condense the game to complete only one event each time you play. For more thorough instructions, use the link below. Thanks for playing!